Hey everybody, today's video we're going to be taking a look at my greenhouse, see how it's been surviving the winter. You can see quite a bit of snow built up on the roof, so I'm just going to check, make sure it hasn't caved in. I got a tarp this year that I put over it to try to keep it in one piece, so the wind wouldn't keep destroying it. looking good in here we can see that the roof is buckling in some spots got myself a nice yoga mat on my chair so I can sit oh. there we go let's check out see what's alive in here it is the middle of winter February now today's February 1st happy black history month oh look at this we got some onions that are growing where is it here a little bit of green Soil is a little bit damp, so I won't bother adding any water. The cold does seem to be getting it quite a bit. Let's check out these ones. Oh, here they are. Some more onions growing here. Quite a bit of green to them still. So if anyone's wondering, is it possible to get a greenhouse to survive the winter in southern Ontario, Canada? I would say yes. But boy, luckily I put reinforcement. You can see this year what I did is I put screens across the top of the roof to try to add a little bit more stability. So when the snow landed on it and started buckling it, it had something to hold it. So far so good. It is crushed a little bit in, but it's structurally sound still. I shouldn't keep saying that because it looks like it's on the verge of buckling as we speak. Alright, so what could you all grow in one of these greenhouses? I would say anything that's tolerant of frost. Maybe broccoli, onions. I heard, uh, what is that one leafy green? Kale? I think someone was saying that kale is really good for growing in the winter, so... Yeah, it is possible. I always complain saying that the snow and wind would destroy the greenhouses, but I think the screen method is working. This year, what I'd like to do if I get more time and energy is take these greenhouse panels behind me and swap them with chicken wire panels. So it's not plexiglass, but wire. And then any time that I need it sealed for warmth, I'll just put a tarp over so that way in the summer it doesn't get super hot and everything dies from the heat waves. Because last year that's what happened. These panels worked pretty good and the tarp worked good for the wind. But it just got too hot. Not enough ventilation. So we need good ventilation and we need structural stability. So I'm thinking a combination of chicken wire panels with a tarp. And if anyone else has ideas of how they got their greenhouses to survive in Canada, let us know in the chat. See you everyone. Bye for now.